find all real eigenvalues of the following matrix solution. So the real eigenvalues will be the real roots of the characteristic polynomial of A. So let's call it C for characteristic. And let's use lambda. So C of lambda is defined to be the determinant of A minus lambda I. So this is the characteristic polynomial of A. So if you're having a hard time figuring out what this is, let's, let's go over it quickly. So I is the three by three identity matrix. This is the matrix that has ones along the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. So it looks like this. And here we're multiplying it by lambda. So lambda I, this is just the identity matrix and each entry is being multiplied by lambda. So lambda, lambda times one is simply lambda and then lambda times zero is zero. And then so here we get zero as well. And this is zero, lambda, zero, and then zero, zero, lambda. So here we want the determinant of A minus lambda I. So all we have to do is take A and subtract this matrix here. So if you notice, everywhere it's zero except on the diagonal. So we're just gonna take lambda and subtract it from each of the diagonal entries. So the first one entry will be one minus lambda. So one minus lambda. And then here we simply have zero and negative one. This is zero. And now for this entry here, we're gonna subtract lambda. So it's one minus lambda. And then here we have zero. And this is one, one, and then zero minus lambda is going to be minus lambda. So again, all you do is you take your matrix A and you just subtract lambda from each of these guys here. Okay, now we're ready to find the determinant. We're gonna use something called cofactor expansion. It's also called uh, Laplacian expansion. I'm gonna put the equal sign over here. And the way this works is we pick any row or column and we expand along that row or column. I'm gonna choose the first row. So we're gonna expand along the first row and all you do is write down the first entry, so one minus lambda. And then you have to multiply by negative one, and it's always negative one, and then the exponent, it's the row plus column. So we're in the first row, first column, so it's first row plus first column. And then you multiply by the determinant of the matrix that you get when you cross out the row and column. So if we cross out the first row and first column, we're left with one minus lambda, zero, one, and minus lambda. And then we add, and then we go to the next entry. So zero, now it doesn't matter what goes here because zero times whatever we put here is gonna be zero, but I'll go ahead and write it out. It's negative one to the row plus column. We're still in the first row, but now we're looking at zero. So that's in the second column, so plus two. And then we multiply by the determinant of the matrix that we get when we cross out the corresponding row and column. So if we cross out the first row and the second column, we're left with zero, one. So zero, one, and then zero, sorry, zero, one, and then zero minus lambda. Okay, so this zero and this one, and this zero and this minus lambda. Then we go to the next one, so negative one, and it's, negative one again, right? This negative one is this one. And this negative one is always here and it's row plus column. So first row, third column. And again, you cross out the corresponding row and column. So we have zero, one minus lambda and one, one. And now I can go ahead and cross it out. We're crossing out this column and this row. So this is what goes here. And now we just have to be super careful. Let's see. Well, first of all, negative one to an even power is gonna be one. And negative one to an odd power is gonna be negative one. So that's gonna help us deal with all these negatives. So here we get one plus one, which is two. So negative one squared is one. So this piece here, this is one. So, so no big deal there. And we still have the one minus lambda. So one minus lambda times, and now we have to multiply by this determinant. To multiply by this, to compute this determinant, we just multiply this times this. So it's gonna be parentheses one minus lambda times negative lambda 
minus 0 times 1. So you subtract and you multiply these. This is 0. Here we have an even number. So negative 1 to an even power is 1. But then here we still have a negative 1. So this is minus and then parentheses. And now we'll compute this determinant. 0 times 1. 0 times 1 minus and then 1 minus lambda times 1. So 1 minus lambda times 1. Now let's be really, really careful here. This is equal to, let's see, 1 minus lambda. That stays there. We can go ahead and multiply minus lambda by these numbers here. We can distribute. So minus lambda and then minus lambda and minus lambda is plus lambda squared. And this is 0, so who cares? Uh, this is 0. So here we have a plus, a plus, so it's plus 1 minus lambda. Progress. It looks like we can factor out 1 minus lambda. That might make the simplification process a little easier. So this is 1 minus lambda. And I'll use a bracket this time. So we're factoring it out from this piece. So what's left is negative lambda plus lambda squared. And then we're factoring it out from this piece. So what's left is 1. So this is equal to 1 minus lambda. And then here we have lambda squared minus lambda plus 1. So this is the characteristic polynomial of our matrix A. So to find the eigenvalues, we have to find the roots of this polynomial. So we set this equal to 0. And when, that, when we do that, we get 1 minus lambda equals 0. Or lambda squared minus lambda plus 1 equals 0. This gives us 1, so lambda equals 1. That's a real eigenvalue of our matrix. And now we have to find the roots of this quadratic equation. So if they're real, then we'll have real eigenvalues. If they're complex, then we won't use those as part of our answer. So to do this, let's try to use the quadratic formula. So here a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is 1. And the quadratic formula says that lambda is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. So lambda is equal to, let's see, minus b. Well, b is minus 1, so this is 1 plus or minus the square root b squared. So we're squaring the negative 1, so we get 1 minus 4 a is 1, and looks like C is 1 as well, all being divided by 2A, so 2 times 1. So lambda is 1 plus or minus, this is 1 minus 4, so square root of negative 3 over 2. So this is 1 plus or minus I square root 3 over 2. These are not real numbers, so the only real eigenvalue is lambda equals 1. So it takes a little bit of work. Uh, and again, to recap, the first thing you want to do is compute the characteristic polynomial. It's always defined this way, or usually defined this way. It's the determinant of a minus lambda i. And then you set that equal to 0, and you solve. That's it.